Hello, this is Gary Fox of Create and Make, where the same old stuff just ain't good enough. Hello, it's Gary Fox, and tonight we're going to uh, talk about a little problem that comes up very often with CAD. And the first time it comes up, it messes your day up. It's cuss, cuss, fuss, fuss. And then uh, once you figure out what's really going on, it's not so bad. But the very first time, it really uh, messes you up. Okay, what happens is that you got a drawing, and you've kind of detailed it. It's all ready to go, man. You're feeling pretty good about it. you got all the good stuff, which is what I call this drawing. The good stuff is all in one place. And maybe you zoom out or you zoom in. And then you just want to see the whole drawing, make sure it's right, so you click Auto Zoom. And what the heck, the drawing is shrunk on you. Why did that happen? Maybe it's just something messed up in the program, so you decide to save it. And you exit out of the program. And you pull it back up. And bigger than heck, it still looks the same as it did before. So... What's happening? Well, what happened is that somehow when you were working on the drawing, you ended up with a little attribute, a little element stuck down here. And this one happens to be big enough where we can see it. And it's stuck down here. It could be at any of these edges. Uh, but it's stuck, and we found this one. So, once you delete that... Once you uh, erase it, now when we do a uh, zoom to full, it all comes up the way it should be. Okay, let's, for argument's sake, let's go back and undo some stuff here. Okay, it's back again. Let's say that we couldn't see it. Uh, it was a little bit smaller than this. We weren't able to see it. Okay, how would I go about trying to find it? Well, one good way is, if I know that everything that I'm doing is on level 0, I create another 0, and we'll call this, this level, create another level, layer. And we'll call this one good one. And so now I will uh, do a modify, temporarily change the layer. And I gotta do a select window. Select the stuff that I want. And we're temporarily going to change it to layer good. Okay, now once we've changed it to good, we will turn off good. And uh, now we will select everything that's in. We'll do a modify menus, delete, and we will delete everything because we've turned off good. So we will select all. We will delete it. Now we'll turn good and back on. Zoom extents. And then if you want to, you can change it back to level zero. So that's one way of getting it if you can't find it by just looking for it. Let's make it a little worse case. So we'll save this with the way it is. We will open up Good Stuff 2. And Good Stuff 2's got the same problem. And in this case, I can't see it. Well, let's see what I was trying to do. So I'm going to have to do a window zoom. And what I have here, I have three different layers on this thing. Well, we want to know which one of the layers is the layer that's messing with me. So we'll turn off layer zero. And now we'll do a zoom extents. And it's still messed up, so it's not layer zero. So let's do layer badden. Turn it off. And we'll now do 
zoom extends. And it is just the way we want it. So somehow it's going to layer batten. So what I can do, turn it back on. Let's zoom out just a little bit. We'll create a new layer. Uh, call it Doofy. Because I'm not real original tonight. We'll make it red. Make it big. Okay, we'll take Badden, because Badden is the one who's messing with us. We'll turn off everything else except Badden. And this is the Badden part that we want to keep. So we will do a modify layer. And select window. And we will change this layer to Doofy. And I turned off Doofy. But okay, we've got Doofy turned. We got Doofy working. Okay, let's go back to Badden for just a minute. And I'm going to draw one little temporary line. Okay, and there's you'll see why I did that. Okay, I'm going to erase everything that's on layer Badden. So I do an erase, and I erase select by layer. I want to select this layer right here. And hopefully it will select the other part that's down there that is too small for us to see. We do continue action. Let's turn them all back on. And zoom full. And it works. Okay, now I can go back and change. Layer. Select those four items on Doofy. And we'll change them to Layer Badden. And we're right back to where we started without our little piece of junk down there messing with us. If we do uh, Zoom Full, everything is hunky-dory. And we can now delete Doofy because we're no longer using it. And we're right back to where we were, what we thought we had originally. So there's another, uh, there's a case of how you can do it to determine which layer the part is that's messing with you. How do those happen? Uh, to tell you the truth, it's happened to me many times, various reasons. One, one of the things that happen is that you move something, and then as you remember, move, it will stay selected. And then uh, you move something else, and then your first part got moved with it. And if it's a, if you do a copy where you're not getting deleting the original, you end up with a part floating way down there somewhere in Never Never Land. So that's one way you get them. Sometimes when you're cutting lines, you're drawing really big lines, and then you're starting to cut them down you end up with parts of the line that are outside the drawing area. So there's many ways, and I fell into the trap many times. I had a, uh, had a person that watches these videos, thought he had a problem, a bug in a LibreCAD. Now nah, it happens in all CAD. And uh, I knew what it was almost immediately and was able to fix the problem for him. So I decided to create this video so the rest of you know how to do it. And then if you get that problem, you know what, what happens. So now it's working. And if we save it, and we exit out, and we come back, it will automatically zoom exactly where it's supposed to be. So we fixed the problem. Appreciate you uh, watching. Hopefully you got something out of this. Uh, it one of those things that will ruin your day the very first time you have it if you don't know what's really going on. Thank you. This is Gary Fox of Create and Make.